State lawmakers making major changes to public school funding and policy early this morning. Political reporter Jessica Arp has what you need to know from the state capitol. While lawmakers put some $200 million more million into school budgets than the governor originally proposed, they also expanded a statewide voucher program and made other policy changes that could affect your child's classroom. This classroom at Lighthouse Christian School is filled with music, and their principal says changes made by lawmakers is music to her ears. It's really exciting for us because we have a lot of children that want to be in the voucher program. We have a lot of students on the waiting list that have been waiting to be able to get into the school. Lighthouse currently has 10 voucher students as part of a program limited to 1,000 low-income students statewide, but lawmakers have voted to expand that program, sending state tax dollars for each transferring student to their private school of choice. The fact is that most low-income students and students of minority cannot afford private schools. And that's unfair. For sure, in the long run, it will um, reduce revenue. Madison school leaders who are meeting to go over school plans and improvements say a funding increase will help, but vouchers throw all that into question. I think it's more about the instability of the, the funding environment that makes it very difficult for a public school system that is um, generally been held the most accountable for uh, getting results for, for all children. The voucher program is just one change lawmakers made. They also created a five-star rating system for all schools, made a new requirement that high school students pass a civics test to graduate. Private or homeschooled students could join public school athletics or extracurriculars. Some tech, math, and science teachers wouldn't be required to have a college degree. And high school students could get half their credits to graduate from a learning portfolio. Vouchers, though, may have the most immediate impact, potentially making Lighthouse not the only voucher school in town. I would hope that every private school would take advantage of this. I think private schools have a lot to offer kids that, that may be struggling in public school. While these education changes were approved by the Budget Committee, they still do need approval by both houses of the legislature and the governor. At the Capitol, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3.